You want to organize your digital photo mess, but with so many photo organizing software options out there, how do you know if your chosen software will do the job? We are taking so many digital photos now, it is so easy to get in a mess. So taking control with a specialist photo organizing software is a great idea. The options can range from photo apps like Apple, Google, or Amazon Photos, or there are a ton of other options out there from the simpler and easy to use to the complex but all-encompassing software. Examples include Photo Mechanic, Mylio, and Adobe Lightroom. In this video, I'm gonna give you my wise words on the essential requirements you need your photo organizing software to be able to do so you can be a photo organizing genius. Ability to organize pictures in folders or albums. This is a pretty simple one. If you want to be able to organize your photos, it would be useful if you could organize them beyond just a stream of files. Being able to put your photos in specific folders or albums will help you not only assess the mess, but find your photos in the future. When it comes to photo apps, you are usually limited to creating albums while your photos continue to stay in a long stream of photos. However, outside of these apps, specialist photo organizing software will enable you to sort your images into folders with multiple levels underneath them, which for me, I totally love. Can you see and edit the metadata? Firstly, what is metadata? This is the data behind all your images. It includes not only when it was taken, but it could be where it was taken, what camera was used, and any captions or keywords that you've added to those images. For photo apps, you can go and view this information in the information screen, but editing this data is mostly on a one-by-one -one basis. With photo organizing software, you can also see and edit this metadata, but to change it en masse, it's a lot easier if you want to change the capture data for a ton of photos and then add the same keyword, it is much simpler than on the phone apps. Ability to share your pictures. All of this organization is useless without being able to share your photos and being able to share those photos without having to export them out of your organization software beforehand. So keep in mind that not all photo organizing options will be able to do this or make it easy to share. So unless you're happy to export and share, make sure you know what it can and can't do when it comes to sharing from your organizational software before you jump in. Added extras. There are some optional features that will also make organizing your photos way easier if your software has them but they are not essential. The first being the ability to identify and delete duplicate images because it's so easy to create duplicates. Even Apple Photos has recognized that we create duplicates. So has added a duplicate removal program to their Apple Photos app. Another great feature is the ability to search for faces and objects. This tends to be limited to photo apps, but organizing software is quickly catching up. If these options are available, you can use them to search for both your best photos and your dud photos. So kind of useful. So there you have it, the essential requirements for your photo organizing software. What are your favorite photo organizing software programs? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, then why not go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.